Makapuno is said to be an important coconut genetic resource of the Philippines. Makapuno is a high-value coconut with great demand both in the local and international market. It ranked top 6 non-traditional export of the Philippines with Canada as the biggest buyer. The Makapuno nut has a soft endosperm that almost fills the nut and has three types. Type 1 is almost full of liquid and solid endosperm. Type 2 is an intermediate of types 1 and 3. Type 3 is similar to a normal coconut with a slightly thickened liquid endosperm. The Makapuno phenomenon is governed by a single recessive gene. The formation of Makapuno phenotype is due to high accumulation of galactomannan in the maturing nut caused by the lack of alpha-galactosidase and beta-manosidase enzymes, where the former is the enzyme involved in the degradation of galactomannan. The soft nature of Makapuno endosperm does not permit the germination of the embryo in situ. Hence, the embryo has to be rescued to facilitate production of high Makapuno yielding coconut palms. The embryo culture technology was developed by the late Dr. Emerita de Guzman of Ucalos Banos to rescue the Makapuno embryo. It was improved by the tissue culture team of Philippine Coconut Authority Albay Research Center. Only 0 to 25 percent Makapuno nuts are harvestable from the traditional Makapuno bearing palms. To increase this yield, a true to type Makapuno palm needs to be mass produced to ensure a 75 to 100 percent Makapuno yield. Thus, the mass production of embryo-cultured Makapuno seedlings need to be continued to meet the continuously increasing demand for Makapuno meat. The coconut embryo culture technology is being used in the exchange and safe movement of coconut germplasm, short and long-term storage of coconut germplasm, for example cryopreservation, in vitro screening of coconut germplasm for biotic and abiotic stresses, and lastly, experiments on nutrient requirements. The major application of the embryo culture technology is the embryo rescue. It is also being adopted to rescue the embryos and eventually mass produce self pollinating Makapuno hybrids and other soft endosperm coconuts such as Lono and Lagat plant. What then are the requirements for a successful coconut embryo culture technology? A successful mass production of coconut planting materials via embryo culture technology will require trained technical manpower with expertise on plant tissue culture, somebody with passion and commitment for work, an equipped tissue culture laboratory facility for the mass production using in vitro culture technique, and screen house and nursery facilities for the ex vitro establishment and maintenance of embryo cultured seedlings until they would be ready for fields establishment. How do we go about the ECM technology? It involves harvesting, extraction of the endosperm, excision of the embryo culture under aseptic conditions, and ex vitro establishment. In the field, it starts with the identification of high-yielding Makapuno bearing palms. The palms could be harvested from the so-called kabui, the traditional Makapuno bearing palms, and field planted embryo culture Makapuno palms. 10 to 11 month old is the ideal age of the nuts when their husk is just starting to turn brown. They cannot be harvested together with the nuts intended for copra, which are harvested every 45 days. Otherwise, the makapuno endosperm will rot. Split open the makapuno nut by striking the shell with a sharp knife or bono. Extract the endosperm plug embedding the embryo with the use of cork border. The embryo is located under the fertile eye or the biggest eye of the nut among the three eyes. Collect the extracted endosperm plugs in a clean container with a small amount of water. Ideally, the extracted endosperm plug should contain part of the testa or seed coat to protect the embryo during disinfection. Wash the endosperm plugs with soap and water. The endosperm plugs are disinfected with 100% commercial bleach. Excise the embryo without damaging it. Then, collect the embryos in a sterile flask with sterile water. Ideally, the excised embryo should be free from any cuts or damages. Avoid damaging the shoot meristem. 
inoculate the embryo singly in the culture vessel containing humans or Y3 liquid medium. Transfer the embryos to fresh medium at monthly interval and incubate under lighted condition for 9 hours at 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. Germination is generally achieved during the first month. Further growth and development of germinated embryos is obtainable during the second to the sixth month. Embryo cultured seedlings for ex vitro establishment or ready for field establishment should have at least two leaves with at least one primary root and profuse secondary roots. Take out the embryo cultured seedlings from the laboratory and harden them in the screen house for one week. For potting out, prepare 12 inch by 14 inch black polyethylene bags with holes for drainage and unsterilized potting medium composed of equal amount to receive topsoil and degraded coke-acquired dust and fiber. Carefully, take out the embryo cultured seedlings from the bottle. Under running water, gently remove the medium adhering on the roots and basal part of the seedling so as not to attract ants. Treat or dip the roots in fungicide solution for 3 to 5 minutes following the recommended rate. Without rinsing, dip the roots in 10 ppm NAA solution for 10 minutes. Plant the seedling in 12 inch by 14 inch size poly bag containing the potting mixture. Put bamboo stick or wire frame to hold the plastic cover. Then, water the seedlings and trench the medium with the remaining NA solution. Cover the seedling for one week with 16 inch by 24 inch size clear plastic bag. Tighten the base of the plastic cover with rubber band or any material to maintain high relative humidity. After a week, remove the rubber band and fold the plastic bag to about 130 in height for one week to allow ventilation. After this period, fold the plastic bag to about two thirds in height for one week. On the fourth week, fully expose the seedlings to screen house condition. Allow the seedlings to harden for approximately two months in the screen house covered with two layers of fishnet and polycarbonate opaque roofing with UV protection. Water the seedlings regularly and fertilize them with approximately 1.75 grams of complete fertilizer at weekly interval for three months. After three months, transplant the embryo cultured seedlings to bigger polyethylene bag size 18 inch by 18 inches with the same potting medium. Transfer the seedlings to the nursery with one layer fishnet. Water the seedlings regularly. Fertilize with two pinches of complete fertilizer or approximately 3.5 grams every two weeks. Remove the weeds. Apply pesticide as needed. With the coconut embryo culture technology, the incubation period in the laboratory will take about 4 to 6 months, while 6 to 10 months under ex vitro condition. Embryo cultured macapono seedlings ready for field planting should have 4 to 6 expanded leaves and approximately 1.2 meters in height. Observe optimum cultural management and maintain high level of sanitation both in the laboratory, screen house, and field. With the DOST Picard project, PCA Albay Research Center was able to establish a 4 hectare ECM plantation. The palms are now more than 20 years old with an average Macapono yield of more than 75%. PCA would like to acknowledge the financial and technical supports extended by GTZ, ACIAR, Cogent, DABAR, and Picard DOST. For more information, Kindly contact the Philippine Coconut Authority Albay Research Center, Banao Ginabatan Albay, to these details.